Hello, everybody. My name is Roger Gillespie. I'm the director of hospitality at Hester Creek State Winery here, and we're going to cook for you today. It's spring in the Okanagan, which means things are starting to shoot up in the ground, and uh, flavors are getting lighter. We're all rebounding from our winter splendor of heavy foods, so it's time to start eating lighter foods. Uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, visit Alsace many years ago and fell in love with their food and their wine. Uh, we produce our character white, which is a blend of Pinot Gris and Gewürztraminer, both varietals that are native to Alsace, France. Um, we're going to focus on that wine today and a recipe for a caramelized onion and Gruyere tart with fresh local asparagus. Um, in Summerland, where I reside, we have a little stand called the Shirk Shack, which grows amazing asparagus and just uh, operates on the honor system. Uh, what we're going to do to start is caramelize onions. So I've got a little bit of canola oil here. Spray the pan, turn the pan on. And these onions, uh, I've used large sweet white onions, cut them fairly thin, as thin as you can get them and uh, two whole onions here, nice sized onions. We're gonna go right into the pan. So we're gonna caramelize these for 30 to 40 minutes. Um, nice and slow, pulling out all the natural sugars in the onions. When we're getting these onions, you wanna cook them and saute them, not too hot, but certainly get them sweating out in the pan fairly quickly. Keep them moving around. You do not want to brown them on the bottoms. Clearly, you know, that's going to have a, leave a, a burnt taste. So you want to just draw the flavors out by slowly caramelizing them over a 30 minute period. Okay, fresh pastry. So one of the best things about this onion pie or tart is a nice, fluffy, delicious pastry. You can certainly, uh, in a pinch, use a tender flake pie crust. Um, but I certainly would recommend if you have the time, make your own pie crust. Not that difficult. Uh, the recipe that I'm providing for you today is quite simple, not many ingredients. We've got a, I'm gonna split the recipe in half that you're provided to. The one I'm giving you has the ability to make two pie crusts, which I have done today. But we've got a half a cup of lard. Uh, we've got a cup of flour with uh, the appropriate amount of baking powder and salt. And you're just gonna turn that into a crumble Incorporate it all together. Doesn't take that long. Okay, so we've just got it into a basic crumble here. And then I've got my egg yolk with a little bit of cold water and a little bit of white vinegar. I'm just gonna put that right in there. A little reserved flour. We're rolling. Just mix it all together and you've got just a nice delicious pastry dough. If you want to add, uh, if you're doing like a, a chocolate pie or some kind of a dessert, a fruit pie, you can add a, a teaspoon of sugar and even a teaspoon of uh, vanilla to give it a little sweet. This is my savory pie recipe. Just kind of get the flour going here. You got, your, got my pan, which I already had a little pan spray. And, a little bit of flour. Just lightly roll it out. You want to keep it nice and even and uniform. You flip it once. Make sure the flour is on there. Then you're going to be able to get it off your rolling surface without too much issue. But to be honest, this pastry is so malleable. You're going to be able to build it in the pan however you like and add or subtract from it. This is the favorite part of my kids' cooking process, whether it's pie crust, pizza crust. I always say, hey kids, you want some dough? And they get a little dough. They just hang around and wait for the edges to come off and, and I throw some dough at them and they're in heaven. Take a little piece of wax paper and whether it's some dried kidney beans or something with a little bit of weight. I've just got a little white rice right now, just so that the pie crust doesn't fluff up. And I'm gonna put that in the oven for 15 minutes. 
uh, at 375, and then we'll come back and start building the plaque. So you can see that the onions are browning up real nice here. At this point, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon, maybe three quarters of paprika, and just incorporate that in. I always tell people, if you think that you've caramelized your onions or not enough, go another 10 minutes. Savory flavor that comes out through the onion and the Swiss Gruyere cheese we're gonna include. Very traditional pairing is Gewürztraminer. We don't produce 100% Gewürztraminer other than we did once for our wine club. Um, but our Pinot Gris has a, our premier character. White has a good amount of Gewürztraminer and has that nice aromatic characteristic that you'll be looking for. You know, alternatively, this would go nice with our Treviano I often pair it. It'd be nice with a nice German Riesling or a nice Okanagan Riesling. Um, it's just a very delicious, light spring dish. So we're going to put this together now. The pie crust came out of the oven. It's just got a very tiny little bit of browning on it. That way it just holds together firm when you're cutting the pie later on. Uh, so we'll start with that. We've got about three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. Don't be afraid to go three quarters to a whole cup. One large egg and just mix that together. That's going to be your binder. Uh, the farm fresh asparagus I have, you can see the purple asparagus pretty much loses most of its color. Uh, I just steam these for about 30 seconds just to take a bit of the edge off. They're so tender when they're fresh that you really don't need to cook them too much. We've got our caramelized onions here, which you can see are golden brown and delicious. And we've got the Swiss Gruyere cheese. Uh, Swiss Gruyere cheese is amazing. It's worth every penny that you spend on Swiss Gruyere cheese. Swiss Emmental is a decent substitute, but doesn't have uh, the same level of salt and uh, slight acidity. Um, it's just such a beautiful melting cheese. So we're going to put the onions right in the bottom. Spread them evenly right out to the edge. Uh, we might not use all this Gruyere cheese. You just want to cover it with about maybe half an inch of cheese around. It's going to settle in once it starts baking. We want to get that as close to the edge as you can. Just like that. And your asparagus, however you want to arrange it on top. Lastly, we've got our custard. Just be careful when you're doing this because it can sneak over the edge of the, the pie. You want to try to distribute it fairly evenly. Let it sink in there. We take, lastly, our paprika and just a light sprinkle of paprika over top. That's going to help it golden up. We're going to put this in the oven at 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes and you'll see how it comes out nice and deliciously golden brown. And here we go, folks. We've got our caramelized onion and Gruyere tart with fresh local asparagus. Uh, the tart recipe that you have is strictly for the, the, the tart and you can add whatever you like into it to kind of suit your preference or uh, seasonality. Right now, asparagus is fresh, but you know, a month from now it won't be. So we'll start getting into tomato season. You could do some nice uh, yellow pear tomatoes or some uh, sun gold tomatoes, nice little tomato and Gruyere tart. Uh, you could crisp up some nice beautiful bacon, put some bacon in there if you don't want it to be vegetarian. Um, just a real nice simple way to enjoy an outdoor lunch with a nice uh, arugula and tomato salad, maybe some buffalo mozzarella or whatever you want to put in there. So it just kind of comes out at a nice little piece of pie. Nice little salad on the side here. You've got yourself a beautiful light lunch. Class of 2019 character white. And your afternoon's set.
Once again, on behalf of Hester Creek, I'd like to take an opportunity to thank you for your continued support and stay healthy, stay safe, enjoy good food, enjoy good wine. Cheers.